vent. I will withdraw this question. I think this question, <laughs> I do want to answer it so that I'm not putting gates. Oh, yeah, go ahead, uh, 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 Prof. Maybe give them a little cashier of this if, answer. If you, if, you, if you ask Chad GBT or perplexity, say, yeah. in yeah. what language is the average New York Times book written? Fourth grader, fifth grader, sixth grader, or seventh grader? What language, what vocabulary do you use if you want to communicate with the general public? What is the vocabulary? Because if you write it in the vocabulary of undergraduate students, only undergraduate students will buy it. And what is the, what is the uh, percentage of undergraduates that buy book? If you write it in the language of master's level, the master's level students will buy. If you write it in the language, so you have to first of all understand that audience that you are dealing with and they are reading it. If you do, then you communicate with them. And that's why they come back and buy six copies of it. Three copies of your book. Rob Kiyosaki. I don't know whether I'll have a video. We'll play, we'll play, we'll play, we'll play, we'll I'm going to give you a free copy of it, all of you that join. Not because I'm generous, but I want to use it as an illustration of what language will underpin your communication with your audience. If you speak French, you Portuguese, don't buy your book. If you speak Latin to the English, they won't buy your book. If you speak, if you now go and speak Japanese to the English, they won't buy your book. So you've got to know what language. This is why I'm, I'm laughing. Somebody was saying, is it the topic? I said, don't worry. It's not as much as the topic as the language. So the linguistic level, your target audience are operating at must not be disconnected from your written word. You've seen some books. Well, after reading one paragraph, you go and look for paracetamol tablets. You go and look for headache tablets. But you bought the book yourself. You like the book. You like the title. But when you got home, you read the first paragraph, you had headache. You read the second paragraph, you went for dictionary. I mean, how can you enjoy that book? That can never be a bestseller. No matter how good the information is inside. The food is very good, but it's too tough. For the teeth to chew. They cannot eat that food. So mentally, you got to make it like, like ice cream. So that they lick it, then they lick it, and they lick it, and they lick it, and they lick it. That's how you get repeat sales.